I did the coil overs, or I started the coil overs on the other day, and my footage got messed up, so I wasn't able to really do anything. So, anyways, I did the driver's side coil over on the front, and I'm going to do the passenger side today. It's going to be great, but it's cold and it's windy, but we'll survive it. performance height and dampening adjustable coil over kit super budget friendly which is what i'm going for in this car and i got it from american muscle where i get all the good stuff for my mach 1 so let's go it's so windy outside that i have to actually pull my mustang into the garage and work on it inside my garage so that means i'm gonna have to park the camaro out on the street. I don't like doing that because the Camaro doesn't like to be parked on the street. I know this is overkill, but I'm terrified of the spring, um, lose, you know, wildly spiraling into my face or like w worse into the car so i i put the jack under the control arm but then i also use a spring compressor just for peace of mind so it takes a lot of time but it's worth knowing that it's not gonna pop the spring out into my face I had already lowered the um, uh, passenger side, so getting the car jacked up, it's a little bit of a challenge now, um, but at least I've already gone through one side, so I know what to expect. These bolts that hold the um, caliper on, the caliper bracket bolts, those are like fused on. So learning from the other side, I had already gone to Harbor Freight and I purchased a bunch of impact tools, which I needed for a long time. I was just too cheap to buy them. So now I've got everything that I need to take off these stubborn ass bolts. Um, the only problem is that they, the, there's not a lot of clearance, but then my brain, a light bulb went off and I was like, oh my God, move the wheel, duh. So that made everything a thousand times easier. The bottom came off, you know, no problem at all. The top one, there was still a little bit of clearance issue, but I, you know, messed around with it and use some choice words and eventually got it off. There it is. It's not even, I didn't even bust it. What's not seen on camera is um, me almost getting hit in the face with this ingenious idea that I had to use one of those swivel extensions on um, my um, impact gun. So I, I used the swivel extension and then I put a socket at the end of it and I did a little test, like a boo, just to kind of see what would happen. And the thing just, like the whole socket flew off and it actually hit the, the rim of my hat. So had it been just a little bit lower, it probably would have hit my eye, but I kind of deserved it. I mean, that was so stupid, you know, they make a lot of stupid mistakes. Anyways, with these bolts off, um, I do not remove the caliper from the rotor because I can just move everything to the side and put it in this amazing true value bucket and that will give me plenty of room to access the um the strut bolts At this point in time, yes, paranoia kicked in, so I did put my um, my spring clamp on it before I remove this uh, sway bar end link. And now I can tackle these two shock bolts right here. Things get a little dicey 
And I start standing as far back as I possibly can from this. Some Final Destination shit that goes on in my mind. The anticipation. about to happen sets me back about 30 minutes. If you look closely, that little rubber thing pops off. I don't notice and it flies into the abyss. I mean, it is it is gone. I had to watch these videos 18 times to try to figure out which direction it flew into. Easy peasy, just pry this um, spring out and I can move on to um, removing the shocks, the shock mount, um, which I find out is covered in double stick tape and silver tinfoil looking crap. This is the stupidest shit. Some interesting person thought it was necessary to put billet shit all over random components of the car. I mean, so struggling with this double stick tape. I mean, come on, this adds no value. This is the dumbest thing. It makes me so mad. Now with the help of my very long arms, my freakishly long arms, I'm able to um, undo the last bolt and hold on to the, to the shock at the same time and pull it out gently. Oh my goodness. Trash. Miraculously, I was able to uh, mount that shock again with my freakishly long arms and it's you know pretty simple, just tightened up those um, shock mount bolts at the top. And then as I jack it up, I'm trying to get this um, uh, control arm bolt back into where it goes. The hardest part of this is probably um, getting the shock mounting bolts back in. They are both the same size, but I read that putting the either the bottom in or the top in first makes a difference. I didn't really find any difference, but I just went with whatever the guide said at the time. You really just have to like wiggle it constantly to just to like get it through. And then it comes with these little shims that have to go on each side. So each shim keeps slipping out of place. It's, it is the most frustrating part of the install, but there we, there it is. When I took the spring off, this little rubber thing, it fell, well, I mean, it's not a rubber thing. It, it goes right here, right under this. But anyways, when I took the spring off, it popped off and I didn't see where it went. And I looked everywhere for it. I looked everywhere. I walked, I combed the alley. I walked down the street. I walked across the other alley. I looked everywhere and I thought, well, I'm screwed. I'm not going to be able to finish my job. Lo and behold, lo and behold, I found it in this bucket hiding, thank god. I've never been so happy to see some piece of shit little rubber thing in my life.
I'm terrified that I'm gonna get the car loaded and it's gonna be like, oh. You'll see me just say some good words at my funeral when that happens. I lowered it and it just poof. So American Muscle gives it uh, three wrenches. And I'd say that's about right. Mechanical expertise, it, it is a pretty easy job if the bolts aren't fused together. Um, but it's, it, it's enjoyable. I liked it. Installation time, four hours, no way. I mean, for me, not four hours because I lost that rubber piece and then just, you know, I kind of dicked around here and there and ate some chips. Um, maybe four hours, you know, if you don't have to spend four hours jacking up the car. Bolt on. Yes, just don't lose those bolts or strip them. It <laughs> just <laughs> so sad. <laughs> the welding. Yeah, no welding, but you know, you might have to heat up those bolts to get them off. And I'm super happy with the progress. Obviously, I have to adjust the height, but um, I think it just looks so sinister and badass. Oh, God. And then the backs to come soon, which are going to be easier. Thank you so much for watching. Um, come back and check out the rear soon. Thank you.